Meghan makes first American TV appearance since Oprah interview. Pregnant Meghan Markle has made an appearance during the Vax Live telecast, claiming COVID has wiped out a generation of progress for women of color. The Duchess of Sussex made the assertion in a recorded statement, which appeared to be filmed in the backyard of her $14.7 million Montecito mansion. As campaign chairs of Vax Live, my husband and I believe it's critical that our recovery prioritizes the health safety and success of everyone, but particularly women who have been disproportionately affected by this pandemic, Meghan stated. Women, and especially women of color, have seen a generation of economic gain wiped out. Cradling her large baby bump in a red floral blouse, Meghan continued, My husband and I are thrilled to soon be welcoming a daughter. It's a feeling of joy we share with millions of other families around the world. When we think of her, we think of all the young women and girls around the globe who must be given the ability and support to lead us forward. The Vax Live concert took place at Los Angeles Lo-Fi Stadium this past Sunday. Prince Harry appeared in person, but Meghan reportedly pulled out at the last minute. However, her brief recorded statement aired at the conclusion of the concert's telecast which was aired across multiple TV channels in the U.S. on Saturday night. It was the Duchess's first appearance on American television since her and Harry's bombshell interview with Oprah back in March. Meghan also wielded out a series of stats during her two-minute statement, saying, Since the pandemic began, nearly 5.5 million women have lost work in the U.S., and 47 million more women around the world are expected to slip into extreme poverty. She also stated that the, the future leadership of young women depends on the decisions we make and the actions we take now. We want to make sure that as we recover, we recover stronger, that as we rebuild, we rebuild together, the Duchess declared. It's unclear when Meghan's statement was recorded. However, she sported a softer look than she did during her Oprah interview. The Duchess opted for a bright and loose-fitting button-down adorned with flowers. She left her long locks free-flowing and styled them in loose curls. She appeared to be wearing a $140 woman power charm necklace from jewelry brand All Inspired. The company states on its website, celebrating intersectional feminism and social justice is at the core of who we are and what we do. 20% of all proceeds benefit our incredible charity partners, each chosen for the direct impact they have on the lives of women overcoming adversity. Meanwhile, Prince Harry warned against the politicization of COVID-19 vaccines in a video which was recorded backstage at the Vax Live concert. I think the most worrying thing for me and my wife, Meghan, is science being politicized, Harry stated in the black and white clip, posted to Twitter on Saturday. When we're talking about life and death, which we're talking about now, vaccines cannot be politicized. The Duke of Sussex further declared, we must ensure that everyone around the world has equal access to the vaccine, otherwise none of this works. Harry and Meghan have backed U.S. President Joe Biden's move to waive vaccine patents for poorer countries. That decision, which was announced earlier this week, caused shares for vaccine makers Pfizer and Moderna to tumble on Thursday. Pfizer CEO Albert Bourla described support of the waivers as so wrong. Germany, Canada, the EU and the UK currently oppose Harry and Meghan's push to waive the patents, fearing that it won't help boost production in the short term, and could hamper innovation in the longer term. Earlier this week, Harry and Meghan urged vaccine manufacturers to temporarily suspend intellectual property rights in order to help those in developing countries gain access to jabs. The couple shared an emotive letter to the CEOs of Pfizer, Moderna, AstraZeneca, Johnson & Johnson and Norovax on Thursday as they launched a campaign to ensure equitable vaccine access globally. The lengthy note, published to Global Citizen, asks the vaccine bosses to act with extraordinary purpose, responsibility and leadership in response to an equity crisis and use every possible measure to increase global supply. These proposed measures include the temporary suspension of intellectual property and extraordinary global public-private collaboration resulting in wider transfer of technology and know-how. AstraZeneca has already vowed not to profit from the vaccine during the pandemic. But Harry and Meghan today urged the CEOs of Pfizer and Moderna to follow suit and supply at least 100 million doses of their vaccinations at not-for-profit prices this year. They also requested that the two pharma giants accelerate their supply and deliver the jabs to COVAX, COVID-19 vaccines global access, 
which protects people against the virus regardless of wealth, as soon as possible.